and as the just so for who becomes the governor of Ondo State in the forthcoming October 10 election thickens, the All Progressives Congress Unity Forum has denied announcing Olushalauki as its candidate to face the incumbent Rotimi Akiridulu at the party's governorship primary in the state. The pioneer of the Unity Forum, former governorship aspirant of the APC at the primaries in 2016, Shegun Abraham, said the Unity Forum did not announce Olushalauki as candidate of the party to run against the incumbent. The APC no chieftain the said they now... Also lost to PDP in Akure. So is it the people who have lost that we are going to be looking into? Under normal condition in a decent society, these people just go under the tree and be playing their draft and ludo. They shouldn't even move near the politics at all. But because they have no means of livelihood, and be honest with you, with due respect, they have no means, it is only government they eat. And that's why they are bent. If they cannot get anything, they must get anything at all costs. The APC chieftain said the announcement made by the former deputy governor of the state, Ali Olanusi, that Ulu Shaloki is the candidate of the party is fake and born out of mischief to disrupt the party. Within the last three years or four, five, four years, Ulu Shaloki has been to many parties. Baba Olanusi has been to many parties. From PDP to Labour to APC. You see that they have something common. Ulu Shalala from PDP to APC to AD back to PPC. You can see that they were just looking for something, not for the interest of the people. If they have relevance politically, what drove Ulu Shalala from AD? Why did it not build up? So that it won't be, it won't be contesting, arguing with anybody how to become a gubernatorial candidate. Some residents of Oshun State say socio-economic activity in the state will soon improve tremendously with the government's concentration on road projects. They stated this when the governor visited the newly completed 2.8-kilometer Alekuwadu Adewale Road to Waek Road. Our correspondent Rafi Hamid reports. It's full of praises and appreciation to Governor Bui Gaitola for seeing to the completion of Akilade Alekuwadu. I was suru to work roads on Wednesday. Thank Governor Itola is a man of his words. During the time of last uh, regime, we appealed to Governor Alekwe Shola. He promised us this road, but he failed us. This is the reason why I have a problem where we have voted last election in this area. But today, I'm assuring Governor Itola. We are giving 100% vote for the coming election. Uh, we appreciate governor for this uh, because uh, before Ali Kwado people have been complaining concerning all the roads at Ali Kwado here. But now we thank God that Ali Kwado, all Ali Kwado routes now is now be constructing or dualizing by the government. Being the 